Nothing like elevator music on Goldeneye, man. It is so good. And it's just a small touch of putting the elevator music in. I talk a lot of, you know, Metal Gear. Those small touches make such a difference. Well, it's just like this, man. The fact that you get that elevator music and then hold up. Now, unfortunately, I'm busy killing everybody, so you can't really hear the beat. But another, another just monster beat dropping right here. I got a little grunge effect to it, but it's still just baller. A grudge, grunge, grudge. God, I don't even know, man. Look at that angle right there, man. This is preparation. This is many, many days of work right here to get this footage for y'all. This, to me, is still the toughest level on Double O H, without a doubt. You know, the streets was hard. I'm not gonna take that down below. The streets was hard. Launch was tough. Statue was, was difficult. Control? It's just near impossible, son. This ain't meant for normal mortals. This ain't for human beings. Control wasn't meant to be played by people. Control was something that they tested so that they made sure that the game is unbeatable. Control is nuts. I'm surprised they even put stages after control. That's how crazy control is. Control is hard. I never beat it as a kid. It was the one stage that I couldn't beat. I mean, Statue was another one I couldn't beat. But Statue, you know the difference? And I, I, I mentioned this in some Call of Duty videos. Um, there's the stages where I can't beat, but I feel like a beat. So like Statue is a stage where like I never beat it, right? But I always felt one day I'm gonna beat it. And I, I stand a very good chance of beating the stage. Like it, there wasn't anything crazy going on in the stage that I couldn't beat. I just I, for some reason I wasn't that good at it. But that doesn't mean that I'm not going to be able to beat it at some point. I proved that theory wrong. Control though, control was demoralizing. You don't know how many times I couldn't even get this door open because of all those sentry guns. Waiting. I mean, you saw what I did. I opened up the elevator and a sentry gun was ready shooting at me. What the hell you want me to do, son? Like, what are you, what are you doing? You saw the other angle? Now check this out right here. This room is one of the toughest rooms in in, uh, in Goldeneye. All those guys are staring at your ass, and they just start launching nades. Now your prayer is that they launch enough nades to just blow themselves up, but you can't go in there. And guess what? When you do go in there, because obviously I'm impatient, I want to go in there. I want to, you know, I don't want to have these guys sitting here watching me look at a wall all day. You won't be able to see because there's smoke. So look how I have to inch my way in and look at that dude, man. These are the best guards in the game. I have no reason to, I have, I have no idea why these guys are guarding this empty, useless room. Like this, I don't even, I don't even know what they're doing here. There's nothing to guard here. I mean, I guess the rest of the facility, but like, why here? The best guards in the game by far. Their AI is superior to anything. And you know who they're followed by? The stupidest guards in the game by far. Because this guy in here that I blew... I mean, you, you hear three grenades and a ton of shots going and you're just going to stand there, son? So, after they're giving you the four toughest guards in the game, they give you the four easiest ones. And that was the best I ever did right there, getting by that with one hit. Normally, I die. Like, this is so tough to get those guys. They, 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 they uh, pace themselves well when they go up and down. They throw nades, they shoot you, period. Like they shoot, like you can, you have to go past them in order to try to hopefully get one or two down with the nades. Because if you just try to go right in as you go in, you're done. Is you're dead meat. Toughest guards in the game by far. No idea why they're there. Uh, the guys in Ash Tag are pretty tough too, but those four guys, they're a hell of a team, man. They, they should go play league play. They'd be the best at league play, those guys. Man, they would be annihilating. So pushing over here deeper into the facility. Uh, control center, control tower. Already laying down the mine. You have to destroy these mainframes. One of the objectives. Here's my man, Boris. What's up, Boris? How you doing? Don't mind me. I'm just looking after the computers. I'm gonna pull out this gun, and I decide to blow this up around and make sure, make sure I scared him. Even though he didn't really get too scared, cause he's ha 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 invincible. Now you wanna lay down and blow those two up to kill the two guards that are up here. The le the less amount of people we have to deal with, the better. I mean, this this stage is already tough enough. So you have to blow those two uh, mainframes down there. They kill the guys up there. So we'll sweat the technique, skill. Pro tips, call uh, call duty. I was gonna say call duty. Black ops on double O H, uh, golden on double O H. Blow those two bad boys up. I, you can blow them up after you can blow them up now. I don't really care. It doesn't matter. The two down there, I recommend blowing up at that instant. Now you gotta come up here for the body armor. This is very very important. I had no idea this body armor was here until like one game when I was just playing. I was so desperate. I was like, there has to be something on this roof. Like there's no way that they put this whole roof area here and there's absolutely nothing. And then I kind of thought about it. And I was like. You know, there kind of is, because they probably like just tested something here or something. This is like one of the first games that came out in N64, you know, in that first like year or two that came out. So, um, but I found that body armor, and that is a lifesaver. You need that body armor. Once again, over here, you got to back up. There's an automatic turret over there. A sentry gun's still not further back enough. I'm just trying to see if I can angle it right. There we go. Now, you got to be careful here, too, because the guards are going to push up. These guys are pretty bright, too. They're not as bright as the other brothers over there, but they're bright. I'm trying to shoot that. I hear it go quiet. I hear it blow up. 
is down. I hear something thrown at me. Guess it was nothing. Close the door on him. We got to play the door game on him. Get one, get two. And I'm like, I wonder if there's more. Boom, there's a third one. Answer my question. I'm like, all right, let's see. Now, there's another turret on the other side. Now, I didn't want to go and line up there because I wasn't sure if there was still going to be people coming over here. So I'm trying to gun it down. I can barely see that thing. Whatever. I got more than a family to waste. Now, here's another tough one. Two turrets both looking at each other. I recommend you try this right one first. I believe that's what I do. Oh, my man is on me. So you got to time it out just perfectly. Just inch your way over. It's lonely. It's lonely. It's lonely. Boom. Get enough low angle to take that out. I suggest going to TP7. There you go. And then you come over here. And then move, 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 move. That's a tough one to take out. This one's a little bit easier. Get a little more leeway with this one. But if you go and do that, the first one, it's going to blast you from behind. So no, no, no bueno. And there we go. You're going to blow this bad boy up right here. And I'm looking around to see if there's any other mainframes. No. Boom. Blown up. Now we got two mainframes, but those won't open up until we get Natalia moving. So let's get on to that. Because this is a challenge in itself. Now this room right here. So in the rare occasion when I was a little kid, or even now, um, when I would get to this room control, when I survived all the turrets, when I survived all the guards, I'd make it to this room. And this room was hell. This room, basically Natalia comes up over to this computer, we're going to see. And she's got to do some shit to like move the satellite or something. It'll, it'll say. You can read it. Everybody's got eyes. Um, every, well, hopefully everybody has eyes. Uh, if not, I'll make sure I to, uh, I'll uh, annotate the podcast that I don't do right now. Um, so you can listen to that. Anyway, a girl Natalia is going to come up over here. And she's going to raise an alarm. And guards are going to come. Guess what? An infinite spawn of guards are going to come. Ugh, I'm double checking to see what kind of health I got right here. Now, I would normally do is leave everything I was and just stand next to her and try to protect her. Wrong. Wrong. What you have to do is blow up all desks. Because that way nothing blows up around her. No smoke, no nothing, no extra damage. Then, you stand where I'm standing at right now. You're able to see her, but more importantly, you're able to see the two stairwells where these suckers are going to come from. The other way, you're going you're gonna to have your back or you're going to have your front towards them. But when you're shooting, they're not going to be coming at you like they're coming at me right here. And they're going to be able to get down to the bottom and just clap her at will. Even though I don't have the best shot here, this is the most effective strategy. You just keep looking from one way to the other. This guy managed to sneak in a couple hits right there. I don't appreciate that. Um, but either way, you guys see the strategy. It's going to work. It's a jolly old time. And then eventually they break down two glasses down there. But you also got a good angle at that, so no worries. Whereas on the other side, it just took a little bit longer to look at both sides. And you couldn't get that perfect angle on them. This is it. I don't know how this didn't hit me when I was a kid, you know, like... This game came out in 98, so 15 years ago. 15 years ago. Oh, man. We getting old, son. Maybe it came out even 96. Maybe it was getting older. I don't know. Either way, though, man, this game. Ah, we're old. So my man broke that over here. I don't know how this didn't come up to me. The, the idea, I always stood next to her. Because I figured if I stood next to her, they wouldn't shoot her, they'd shoot me. And no, they just shoot her and me. Like, it wouldn't, it wouldn't matter. They shoot all of us. They didn't give a damn. These, these guys are ruthless. They're, they're mercenaries. They're killers. They're, they're hired gunmen. They're, they're deadly. So I'm waiting on my man, and she tells you a bunch of mumbo jumbo throughout this whole time, and nobody, ain't nobody want to hear that, ain't nobody got time for that. Natalia, come on, girl, you do so much better. Let's do this. Waiting, waiting. At this point, I'm so happy. I'm like, wow, there's not that many people. And in reality, they don't send that many people at you. It's just that if you don't angle yourself correctly and kill them as they come, you're gonna get overwhelmed. So it's all about taking them out in an effective manner as quickly as possible. Like right there. Taking this dude down as quick as he can. Look where he's going. Boom. He wasted my time. I'm automatically turning over to my left to make sure. Picking up ammo. I'm running out of ammo. So you got to be careful about that. And then look at that. Right as I go over there to pick up ammo. man comes here. He gets two shots on me off the body armor. I'm like, come on, girl. What are you doing? This guy's trying to line up. Came from that under uh, the underground part. And then boom. We calm down. Pick up a little more ammo. I'm looking. I could have sworn I saw somebody. I hear somebody shoot. I'm like, hold up. Where are they? He's trying to shoot me from up top there. They can't shoot on the stairs. So that's cool. That's a big plus. I think they can shoot like at the bottom stair, but not like they just can't stop like halfway through the stairs. We all know that. I didn't take the facility video. People can't shoot downstairs. That's cool. All right, so she's cool. Good luck, James. Blah blah blah. Whatever. I'm looking over here. I'm like, man, that ain't the room I gotta go in. And I drew that guy's attention. I'm like, man, he's probably gonna come after me. I gotta go and take him out. Managed to pop him. Um, actually, I didn't even pop him. I think I was this boy. Whatever. There's two over there. I'm looking around. They see another guy going. He's still going to the mainframe room room. So I'm like. I'm, I'm really scared now. I'm like, damn, I don't know which way to go. So whatever, I'll push over here. I see the guy's hop-stepping while he's busy doing that. Whatever, I push, get one, two, three, and I'm looking. I'm like, all right, what do we do? There's nothing here. I picked the wrong door, the other door with the main for the other side. But hey, got some body on here. I'm looking at my health. I'm like, I wonder if I need it. I wonder if I don't. I'm like, man, screw that. Son. You need everything you could get. This game's crazy. 
All right. So now the keys, I gotta make a mad dash to the other main from These guys are already lighting me up already. I'm nervous that the door behind me is gonna open up, which probably already did. Nope, didn't. All right, so those guys are all sitting me in front. Trust me, you don't want to open that door over there. That door leads to your death. The one behind me. I thought I was looking at the one behind me. Oh, heck. All right, so push over here through the swamp, get one, get two. Now I'm like, all right, I gotta get over this next mainframe. I know that there's people here. I'm thinking, you know, maybe if I can switch over real quick to the mine, I can pop them. I'm like, you know what, man? I'm just gonna gun them down. Gun one. The other guy's trying to push up. Boom, hip fire. No, thank you. And now I'm looking over here at this mainframe. I'm trying to blow it up. I'm like, ah, yes, I remember this impenetrable glass right here. You son of a gun. So I'm gonna blow this thing up. Blow the glass. Blows the thing. Objective C completed. And I'm like, all right. I'm trying to regain my composure. Ain't no way I got time for that though. I'm getting shot. I don't even know from where. Of this guy over here. I'm like, oh my god. Now I'm just wasting time. Now all I'm thinking is like, I gotta get out of here alive. I complete all the objectives. I just gotta get out of here. I wanna double check. Okay, complete, complete, complete. Boom. Let's go. Deuces. So all I gotta do is escape the level. Seems easy enough, right? Yeah. Has anything ever been easy throughout this double O agent playthrough? Come on, man. You know how I do. I barely make it out alive. This ain't gonna be any different. So make sure you close the door behind you. Don't want anybody coming in. Don't want nobody hitting you from behind. That's the dangerous. That's the death penalty. That's, that's that's murder. Those guys managed to pop open that door already. I'm like, alright, you know what? I'm closing that door on you guys. No, thank you. Nobody's invited over here. Now I'm thinking, I'm like, alright, I gotta get into an elevator. I remember that. And boom. Janice gets into that one. Completely fools me. Now I'm like, oh shit, I'm in some deep shit. Because I have no clue where these guys are. I'm trying to just strafe around with the C button, trying to get the crates, trying to get the cover. I'm like, can I duck through here? Nope, can't make it. I'm pinned. I'm like, oh, I gotta get out of there. Look at these three dudes just gunning at me. I give them a little something, something, a little something, something. I open up the elevator. I'm like, come on, door, come on, door, come on, door. Some chill elevator music to end it off. Next week, we got the cabins. Mm mm mm.